Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play the S Let's Play the Slay of the Spire. Goodness. That's alright. Um Hold on, I gotta I gotta remember what was happening here. I had to run around for a little bit, get some coffee and such. Uh right. Second second floor. Or yeah, whatever. Second second spire? Something. Alright, I'm gonna be real with you. This just looks like the best path. Look at this. It's like no combat. Except for like an elite, I can optionally do. So we're gonna go that path. Generally, consensus is that the question marks are better than regular combat. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take question marks. Of course, the first one's always gonna be combat. All right. So these boys are annoying. Why do I have so many cards in my hand? Oh, the backpack. That's right. I forgot about that. Alright. We're going to go with a disarm here. It's going to make him do zero damage five times, which I'm pretty happy about. And I can pretty much ignore him for the rest of combat. For a lot of combat. These two boys are going to try to buff themselves. I don't want that. Also, they're flying, and flying means you take half damage. But flying gets knocked off of you if you get hit three times. And it also stuns you. So, not all good. I don't have a way to deal three strikes to him. I don't have a need to block either. So we're just going to go hard on the boy we knocked down. Um, I keep thinking I have more mana than I do. That needs to stop. Of course, he caws, gets stronger. So this turn, we're going to want to stun him. Because this boy is, once they're on the ground, they're just pathetic. Yeah, we're going to True Grit. Burn a Defend. I don't really care which one. It does have to be three attacks in one turn. So, um can't do much about it as it stands this boy is going to get stronger it's fine he's still weaker than normal and they're already pretty weak their attacks don't do very much damage until they start buffing themselves he still has zero damage apotheosis juggernaut will do nothing for me here fire breathing will then we're going to hit him with a bash we're going to hit him with a strike Uh, I was very curious to see if fire breathing was going to knock him out the air. Right, I didn't have any way to block, right? I, don't, I didn't think so. Alright, that's fine. Oh, that's really cool. I just realized the uh, Mercury Hourglass is doing 3 damage through flight. So it's not affected by the flight buff. He's dead. I don't have to attack him. The so fire breathing will take care of it. We are going to True Grit just to get a Defend out of our deck for now. And then go hard on this other boy. Two damage. Okay, so yeah, he's done. Boop. Another Fire Potion. I'm really happy about getting these fire potions. You know what? I did say we might be going for a block build. But not yet. Clash is going to be better for now. There's zero mana, you can only play if you only have attacks in your, your hand, and it does really good. Amazing. Yes, remove all strikes, obtain five bites. Incredible. Bites heal you. It's... It's good. Uh, choose one of 20 cards, yes. I did lose a lot of HP for that. I traded off a lot of my max HP, if, you, if you'd missed it. Uh, to be able to bite. 
I think this might be a good one to go with Combust. So let, let's go over the cards. I'm, I'm rushing a little bit. So let's let's go over these. Uh, Pommel Strike, deal 9, draw a card. It's good. Problem is, we're not going to cycle through a bunch of cards in, our, in, a, in one turn. Because the Velvet Choker. Body Slam. Again, if we start going for a block build, that'll be good. But now that we have a bunch of bites, it's probably not likely. Cleave is 7 damage to all enemies. Uh, that's okay sometimes, but it's not great. Dual wield, create you know, create an extra copy of a, of a power in your hand. It's sort of like what you can do with anger, except you do it to any attack or power that you have, which is pretty good. Boomerang, it does nine damage, but the big thing about this is it applies strength three times. So if you have a strength build, sword boomerang can be good sometimes. Uh, and of course, upgraded, it gets better. True Grit lets me exhaust more cards, which is pretty good. F another Fire Breathing wouldn't be bad, because it a, it's a one-mana power that starts doing a lot more damage the more cards we play. Problem is, we're not going to play that many cards. I'm glad we have one for the healing purposes, but other than that, I'm not, not psyched on pumping it up too much. Headbutt, you put a card in your discard pile on top of your draw pile. So if you use a card, you have one really killer card in your deck, and you use it, you can headbutt it back to the top of your deck. It's a really common strat. It's a really good strat because, you know, it's just good. Here's one of the cards we passed up earlier in the, in the run. Draw two cards. Put one of the cards that you drew. Well, draw two cards. Pick a card in your hand. Put it on top of your draw pile. So you draw two cards. And then out of all the cards in your hand, if you want one next turn, you can put it on top of your deck and draw it next turn. It's good. And then combust you'd lose one hp at the end of your turn and deal four damage to everything i'm thinking about it because we have a lot of healing in our deck at this point it might be worth it uh hemokinesis lose three hp deal 14 damage for one mana it's pretty good it's not great though it's it's all right not bad perfected strikes bad i want to i want to jump to this one real quick it deals six damage deals an additional plus two damage for all cards all your cards containing strike we got rid of all our strikes this is just bad for us this one exhausts all non-attack cards and you gain five block for each i feel like there's a this 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 card here would be good in a deck that has a lot of card draw and ways to add uh, wounds to your deck, like this card here. Deal 12 damage, shuffle a wound into your draw pile. So you do this, it's a really, really good card, does a lot of damage for one mana, but not what we're looking for. I think it's going to be Combust. We can go over the other ones real quick. Sever Soul, exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand, deals 16 damage. It's really good, it pairs really well with Clash, actually. Because Clash only works if you have only attacks in your hand. And then Uppercut, it's it's basically a better bash, especially once it's upgraded, because it applies weak and vulnerable. This is an AoE version of that, basically. And then Rage is a skill, so it's basically a block that you use, and you use a bunch of attacks, and you gain a bunch of block out of it. We're going to go with Combust. Alright. Now we go to our shop. We got a decent amount of money again, too. So, let's see what they got. Whenever you play a power, a random card in your hand costs zero for the turn. That's pretty good for the amount of powers we're going to be trying to rack up. Pawn use, choose a skill card. At the start of each combat, the card will be in your hand. I'm sorry. Um, I'm pretty sure Apotheosis is a skill? Yeah. A hundred percent. I feel like that has to be the choice. Yeah. Uh, I'll be taking Apotheosis at the beginning of every every combat. Thank you. That used all our money, so we're out. I actually think we're just really good combat oriented right now, so we might go this way. Just to fight this elite. We've got a lot of potions for this too, yeah. Let's go. We're gonna go heavy, we're gonna go aggro while we're strong. 
This boy is not a problem. I actually don't even remember what his uh what the danger of him is. I'm gonna say I don't think we have to combust, but I don't think we have a reason not to either. And we'll go ahead and go hard. By the way, he has barricade, that's what this icon is. He doesn't lose block every turn. There's actually a card that lets you do that as well. It's really good, in my opinion. So, again, we'll go fire breathing. It'll heal us. We'll go ahead and... Well, we're going to draw, right? Not necessarily. Yeah, we're going to draw. Because we want the block anyway. Then we'll disarm. Uh, lower... Oh, that's right, that's right. Artifact. Negates two debuffs now. It was three, now it's two. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Alright, we'll do this too to burn a debuff off of him. I think we're just gonna kill him, though. Frail. So we get less... We get less armor for five turns. 25% less. But that's okay, we're gonna block twice. The reason we're going to block twice is because we have Clash in our hand, and it does. Uh, it can only be played if you have only attacks. We'll bite. Iron Wave. Clash to finish. This is going to be a really strong run. Armaments is useless for us, but it's usually a good card. Uh, you gain 5 block, upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. It's essentially a uh, piecemeal um, apotheosis. Second win, I don't think we need. A shrug it off, I don't think we need either. Because we, we've changed our game plan here. Yeah. Originally we wanted to shrug it off so we could cycle really quickly. You know what? I'll take it. It's still better than a block. So if anything, I'll want to get rid of blocks at some point and do that. So first things first is always going to be Apotheosis. Then we use Combust. And then we're going to bite right here. we got to kill this leader. Uh, and I think we use True Grit. We're going to burn a defend. We should have drew before we did that, but it didn't matter. Draw last is bad. He is going to continue to summon and, and buff the minions. I'm not altogether worried about it. Stop. Give me the give me the disarm. Thank you. Disarm. Still at full health, despite trading away some of our health for essentially no reason. The weaks are really going to hurt. I, I don't like being weak. I prefer if we were not weak. So we need to play this power. And then we will defend. Which... I forgot the power is going to do that. I mostly did it to heal. Then we will bite. And we will clash. And we will anger. I don't want to have too many angers in my deck at this point. In fact, at some point I'll probably remove the anger if I can. I'll, I'll exhaust it, which is what I'll do. There'll be exhaust targets. Okay, this turn, we don't know what he's doing. But, considering he usually has minions, it's probably a good bet that he's going to summon minions. So, we're going to take this time to wail on him. Just like that. And just like that. Gain some health back, too. This is the first time I've done, like, a, um, 
Is it the first time? No, it's the second time that I've ever done like a um, self harm build. So we need to play the block just so that we can play Clash. Then we play Clash. And a bite. And I guess anger, sure. Could have bit him again. I should have bit him again, actually. That was just sloppy play. But it's okay, we heal for six. Whenever you would receive five or less unblocked attack, reduce it to one. Hmm. Let's go with another true grit. I feel like being able to exhaust cards is, is pretty good. Because it thins out the deck and you just get to the good stuff faster. Go with that. Go to shrug it off. There it is. That's the card I really wanted. Disarm. Alright. Now we can just go ham. Oh, that was a foolish move. I should have just well, it didn't matter one way or the other. I should have I should have led with the other uh, attack first. This triggers on each attack. Same battle plan. Burn the cards that are less good. Do as much damage as possible otherwise. This deck feels really strong right now, in case that wasn't coming off clearly. The power will heal me, this power will heal me, it doesn't matter, I wasn't hurt. But then I can do this, Iron Wave, then does extra damage basically because I get the block. Alright, so I think I have lethal here. I just need to get rid of this true grit. And anger does the least damage, so. True grit. Burn the anger. Into a bash. Into a clash. We're done. No damage taken. Get a block potion. I actually think the block potion's better. It blocks for 12, but it blocks for 12 immediately. This costs one less for each time I lose HP in combat. This could be really good. It'll, it'll turn into a zero mana card pretty quickly. Or I can take another True Grit and start exhausting cards faster. I would have to upgrade it. Well, I'd have to upgrade it. What am I talking about? Forgot I had Apotheosis at the start of every turn. Every, at the start of every combat. It's madness. This is tough. I'll take it. It's good. It'll become free very quickly. So I'm, I'm down for it. Exactly what I'm talking about right here. Apotheosis. Combust. Disarm the boy who attacks multiple times. True grit. Burn the block. Play a block. Clash. Huh. Never heard that guy attack before. That was weird. Slaver and a shelled parasite. Fire breathing. I'm gonna play everything, so let's shrug it off. See if I get something better first. I don't need to bite, right? Not really. I'd rather him not negatively affect me, though. So I guess this is the right play. Technically. This is really 
pretty strong deck. I've never... It's glass cannon version of this guy. I've played a glass cannon version, but it didn't have this much sustain in it, I guess. It, it got to the last boss and died for obvious reasons. I'm going to shrug it off because I want the block. We're going to pummel. Oh, I did it wrong. And I did it so wrong. And I'll, I'll explain why real quick. So this guy has plated armor. He gains armor every turn. And when he loses HP from an attack, it reduces plated armor by one. So I should have done everything but pummel. And then pummel last. Because it would have it would have dropped his plated armor by a lot. That was that it wasn't a big mistake. I'm still gonna perfect this guy. I'm not worried. Okay, so now I get less armor. Okay, so I True Grit, Burn to Defend, Iron Wave, Bite, Bite, and we're done. Strength Potion. I want a strength potion over a fire potion? I don't think so, actually. I think in the long run it might give me more stuff, but probably not worth it. I'm going to take Barricade. Uh, it's The Barricade is exactly what it sounds like. It's that card that will allow me to keep armor after healing is 50% more effective in combat. This is the most insane run I have ever seen. So what do you want to upgrade here? First off, I want to see what happens when you upgrade this. So it goes down a mana, goes up two damage. Okay, good to know. This doesn't matter. Like this actually doesn't matter. Upgrading just does not doesn't matter. Can I skip? Sure, we'll we'll upgrade just in case we ever lose apotheosis, because that can happen. Uh, we'll upgrade True Grit then, because that's important to not discard or burn cards that I want to keep later. We will fight the Elite, hundred percent. We're oh sh. Uh, this guy is really, really annoying. So, painful stats. Whenever you take damage from this guy, put a wound into your discard pile. He also, as you will find out very quickly here. is about to get really out of hand really quickly watch this he's attacking for three twice next turn he attacks for three three times you see a pattern? bet you do I don't think I want Juggernaut yet anyway I said shrug it off first. Alright. Bite. Bite. Pummel. We need to kill him very, very quickly. We need to kill him as, as quickly as we possibly can. Because he's going to get out of hand really quickly. And that was not a hand joke. He's a giant hand with a knife. Didn't, didn't realize what I was doing. We're going to do this. Burn a block, bite, anger, and then just block. We needed the block anyway to prevent a wound from getting added to our discard pile. And if you can't tell, if you can't block these attacks, your discard pile fills up with wounds, and when your deck shuffles, it gets real bad real fast. I'm not playing Barricade. I don't, I don't think it's worth the mana unless I just have the extra mana. I do have the extra mana. Sure, I'll play it. Just to get it out of my deck. And then we'll block. Iron Wave. Clash. 
He's gonna do 15, I have 15, this is fine. I think I'll be okay. I'm gonna use combust. Iron wave. Bite. Bite. And then I'll kill him next turn. Almost assuredly. On pace to kill him next turn. The, uh, the strength down has saved me three times the amount of times he's attacked. He's attacked uh, six times. Six plus five is eleven. Plus four is fifteen. Plus three is uh, eighteen. Plus two is twenty. Plus one is twenty-one. But he didn't start with one, so twenty. He started with two. It saved me twenty damage. I'd be at thirty-four right now otherwise. And this is one of my strongest runs I've ever seen. This guy is genuinely really difficult to deal with. I'm going to shrug it off. Three mana. First off, let's do this. Bite. Anger. And then let's not play around. We're just going to True Grit, Burn, Shrug it off, and then Clash to finish it. Upgrade two random skills. Doesn't really matter. It's Metallicize. Because it's power. Do we have any more elites on the way? No. Okay. Apotheosis. We're going to disarm the big boy. We will defend. We're going to iron wave in the back. We will clash. And we will bite. Okay, the reason I'm going on the one in the back, I mean, have you looked at her? She's a, she's a healing buffer. It's, uh, it's pretty, if you've played any video games ever, mage in a white robe. <laughs> nah, we're not dealing with that. We don't have any options here. They're not doing any damage. So we're gonna go ahead and metallicize. And we'll just we'll do this. Finish this person off. A little expensive, worth it. Alright. I think we can afford to combust. Metallicize will bring us up over what we need, so we're going to burn, defend, pummel, and we'll go ahead and anger. I really like his armor, by the way, with this little snake on it. Alright, we will go ahead and barricade. We'll heal us. We will shrug it off. Then we will true grit and burn the defend. <clears throat> so 24, we'll do 15, but we get to keep our armor going forward. It's really good. Normally when you play Barricade, you're guaranteeing to take damage that turn. But honestly, guaranteeing to take damage isn't that bad for us. Oh, almost misplayed. Fire Breathing first. That way Bash will count towards the attack damage that we do later. And then Clash. Bite. Doesn't matter, he's dead anyway. Bite. Still good to get the order right.
Actually, I think True Grit's good. You can just continue to burn as many cards as possible. Oh, goodness. It's Sneko. Literally named Sneko. So this boy confuses you and makes your cards cost random amounts. But luckily, we got a lot of our powers early on, which are going to do consistent damage regardless of what this guy makes our stuff cost. Alright, so that's our best use of our mana right there. Goodness. So now we're confused. When you draw a card, randomize its cost. These are all bad for us. They've all went up. Every card that has changed went up. So we're disarming, because it, it costs the same as what it normally would. We're going to shrug it off. We're going to bite. Sneko can really get you sometimes, so you gotta be really careful with this fight here. Go ahead and metallicize. And the only thing we really do left is to bite, because I don't wanna I don't want a true grit a true grit. Actually I probably did want a true grit a true grit. Didn't matter though. Zero mana bash is absolutely happening. We need to play this because Clash wasn't affected by the change. And then a bite. And he's done. Because the uh, fire breathing went off and then got him otherwise. Um. We don't have a way to apply weak, so I think weak's better than block. Vulnerable is really good. Or, uh, drop kick's really good for draw engine. I've actually done a drop kick deck, which is pretty funny. You just make as many drop kicks as you can. But I think we go wild strike because we have a way to burn the cards out of our deck. Yeah, not great, but it's pretty good. We'll go with the question marks, which I really don't want to go with the question mark, but hey, it's combat anyway. Apotheosis off the bat. Fire breathing. We'll go with Juggernaut. I don't think I care about Disarm for now. We're going to apply some, some good vulnerable in there and we're gonna start tearing into them. These boys need to be killed very quickly. For the same reason in the last episode, that boy needed to be killed very quickly because they will spiral. They're just going to ramp. You're just going to continue to ramp after the first turn. Uh, combust will do good work. As will this pummel. And this bite. In fact, that boy's dead at the end of the turn. We will true grit. There we go. This turn will take th three. Which did this? Oh, it reduced it to one. Oh, I forgot I had this. Whenever you would take five, take one instead. So we're going to Wild Strike in the back. I'm gonna block. Now Bite will kill him. And then... Clash, blood for blood. We're done. <laughs> Alright, feed is actually pretty good if you can start racking it up. So I'm going to get it. If you didn't get to read it, you do damage. It exhausts, so it's gone after you use it for the first time. But if you kill the target, you gain permanent HP. This doesn't matter, by the way, obviously, so I'm just going to pick Barricade because it's a mana reduction. 
Uh, cost two instead of three. 33rd floor, so we still got a ways to go. We're going to Apotheosis. Since he's not going to attack us this turn, we're going to Barricade. We will Fire Breath. We're going to Bash. Put the Anger in there. The bash didn't do anything because he resisted it, but I want to start whittling that down. He's going to summon some dudes. These dudes are mildly annoying depending on what they do. Eventually they will both steal a card from me. And the uh, the stealing of a card will be pretty bad, obviously, because it removes it from my deck. And of course we will, uh, well... Now I'm, I'm curious of what I'm gonna do here. I am going to Iron Wave. 100% of the time. I have 18. That's uh, 14 plus 8. We're going to True Grip. We're going to burn a Defend. That way we have more armor than we need, and it carries over. All right, let's see. So combust, we should we should go ahead and put it up there. And this guy took my feed, which is kind of annoying, but I'm not that worried about it. True grit's bad here because I don't want to burn any bites. So I'm just gonna bite this boy a bunch. Juggernaut being gone is not that bad. He's going to do 10 damage twice. I don't have a way to stop that either. He has 18 blocks, so it's really not worth trying to uh, get through that. Let's shrug it off first. I'm going to use Metallicize. Heal up. Gain armor forever, basically. Starts building up four every turn. This does 10. This is 18. So it's actually worth true gritting to burn pummel, oddly enough. Uh, since that guy's super tanky right now, I'm going to go on this guy right here. I'm going to take some damage this turn. I'm not that worried. Although I do have less max HP, so I prefer not to if I can avoid it. I did get Juggernaut back. In fact, I'll go ahead and play Juggernaut. Since I have the mana for it. Oh, I thought this was... Never mind. Right. Yeah, we're just gonna go hard on this boy here. Mostly because I have a lot of AoE damage and this guy will eventually die anyway. Yep. Gain six strength, huh? Uh, so we're going to True Grit. We're going to get rid of this wound. And we're going to bite this boy here. And we got Feed back. Which is ironic, because I'd like to be able to use Feed on one of these little guys. But we're just going to use it for the damage here. We're gonna take 46. This is this is bad. Prefer not to take 46. 
It is a hyper beam, apparently. I forgot he does this. He is... He is stunned for the turn from the recoil of the hyper beam. <laughs> Obviously. We'll hit him with a bash. That gets rid of the... thing he had going there. Kind of don't want angers in the deck, but I'm gonna start. I'll start burning them soon enough. It's hard to start burning them if I never draw them. I suppose that's how it goes. We're gonna shrug it off. So let's go ahead and get that done. I think I will true grit a true grit here. bite twice and now you yeah let's go ahead and hit him with the weak just so our armor lasts longer all right I think he's done because it's gonna be blood for blood clash Bite, anger, anger. And that was only five cards. Like, that's why I said that, that other thing's probably not going to come. Let me think here. <sighs> Reaper would be pretty good. Because it heals us. Our healing stuff is, is better. Legend to deal 32 is pretty good too. Ah, do we have any? The upgraded version of Limit Brick doesn't exhaust itself, so that would stay in our deck because we apotheosis. I kind of want to get bludgeon. What's well, it's three energy for thirty-two damage, so it's about ten damage per mana spent. I think we have enough healing. Doubling your strength. We don't have any way to get our strength up at the moment. Yeah, let's go bludgeon. I could have just skipped this one, but I feel like bludgeon's probably a good choice. I do not want... Do not want Sneko Eye, because it means that... Well, you draw two additional cards, and you're confused. It would mean Clash is bad. It would mean bludgeon's way better. Most other things are bad too. Cause they all well, bash on average will be better. Anything that costs two on average will be better. Anything that costs four will probably be better. Um, it's okay. I, I don't want to get a bunch of cost reduction anyway. What does this do? Heal for two. I don't want that. I don't really care. Obtain a potion. Raise max HP by five. Obtain a card. Sure. We'll bring our max HP up. I don't care about that potion. Let's see what the card is. Um, could do Wild Strike. Can't, can't make that much use out of Flex. Sure. It'll, it'll give us cards to burn later. And in fact, I will, since I've taken another Wild Strike, I'll take the Elixir over the Explosive Potion. Alright. So, we made it to level 3, the Beyond. 
this is where I'll call it this time around. I'm getting low on coffee here, so I'll probably have to go get that filled up. Uh, and then we'll come back and take a look at this map, see where we're going to go. Uh, in any case, you guys have a great whatever it is there, and I'll see you guys next time.